Here's another episode of Fung Bros Food. When people think about Vietnamese food, they normally think about pho. But there's a lot more depth to the Vietnamese cuisine than that. Seven course beef, ba bê mong. By the way, I'm Richie Lee. I'm Vietnamese. Let's eat. You got beef, we rock it. We'll never stop, we don't care. There will be no more peace. It's all about Vietnamese. Hey. When it comes to Vietnamese food, Rich, how come most people only know about pho? Well, a lot of people don't know about seven course beef because it's more of like a fancier dish at weddings or special occasions, but today, we're gonna give it for you. For you. They call it seven course beef because beef is cooked seven different ways and you make your own spring rolls. So today we added these fried Vietnamese egg rolls because uh, we just like egg rolls. They good. It's okay, man. We do the egg rolls, man. All right, we gotta start off with the pineapple anchovy sauce. This is what you'll dip your spring rolls in. It's kind of like nook mom, except sweeter and tangier. But Andrew, what is nook mom? It's feast sauce. All right, so you got the rice sheets here, and this is what you're gonna do to wrap your spring rolls. You're gonna make sure you submerge it all in warm water. Let me get the full coverage. I like to leave a little bit of rice paper off onto the side because it's easier to roll. Because if you have it all on the plate, you're going to be picking at your rice paper trying to roll it because it's going to stick to the plate. We got cucumber, we got some green bananas, uh -huh. we got plantains, uh -huh. we got some carrots, we got some daikon, and we have some bean sprouts. No, we got a lot of lettuce on this mixed green plate. We got some mint, we got some basil, we got some, uh, yo, I need to ask them what this is because <laughs> I don't know what this is. This Just call it the jungle plate. This is <laughs> the jungle plate. All right, before you eat seven course beef, make sure you wash your hands because you about to get real jungly up in this. And remember, before every good meal that you eat, be sure to Instagram. Got him. I'm gonna take one of these cucumber slices. I'm gonna place it on the edge of my plate. I'm gonna take the carrots. I'm gonna take the daikon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the very first course of beef, which is a, uh, a raw beef slice right here. And it's kind of shabu shabu style because it's in a boiling pot with, of some vinegar broth with some onions like that. See that swish swish? Bam, right there. Bam. For me, what I like to do is take this hoisin sauce put it inside, boom, oh. like that. Oh, reinforcements, reinforcements. He needs backup, he needs backup. This is a either a masterpiece or a tragedy. It worked, right. it, it worked, worked. It worked. We salvaged it, right. we salvaged okay, good it. Good job, it team, it worked, good it job, worked. team. There's something very primal in touch with the human side that I like eating with the hands. Because I know that we Asian and we usually use chopsticks. But nah, not on this, man. Nah, we going straight hands, because hands they were the first chopsticks. Rip the lettuce. So we did course number one and I did an egg roll. So I'm gonna do course number two. So this is like the sausage one. I like this. This is actually one of my favorites. It's got the most flavor. It's mad juicy. Look at that. Mm. Then I'm gonna take some of this shrimp chip just to give it that little crunch. The daikon. And that, my friend, is a spring roll. Mm. So good. It just shows you how juicy the beef is when your hands look like this. Cameraman stand. That's for you. Bro. Take that, bro. That's from me to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for our next course of beef, we have beef wrapped in a lalat leaf, which is a lot like a banana leaf, but it's not a banana leaf. I think it has a really unique taste. The leaf adds something to it. I think the way it was grilled inside of the leaf keeps it really juicy. Let's go in and see how it is. So you got the beef wrapped in leaf, and then you put more leaf on your plate, and you're gonna wrap it all in a rice roll. Seven course beef, more like seven course leaf. I don't even think seven course beef is that unhealthy for you because it's just a lot of meat, but then you're just eating a bunch of fresh veggies with it, so that's what I like about it. Mm. I'm ready. Oh. oh, look at the fingers though, man. Oh. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is mix the egg roll with the fourth course of beef. This is like a beef wrapped in beef. Beefception, baby. Oh. Ah. This is a cherimoya smoothie. If you don't know what a cherimoya is, watch our Asian fruit video right here. This is a young fresh coconut. So tropical, man. What do we have here is a Vietnamese drip coffee. We have the coffee beans up here, and what they do is slowly pour the water, and it slowly drips down through these little holes into the condensed milk, and what you'll do is mix it all up, and then you'll pour it over ice. Fifth course of beef. A lot of people consider this their least favorite. It's the meatball. It's the steamed meatball. It's got peas, it's got wood ears, it's got mushrooms, it's got beef, and it's got some uh, actually rice noodles. But see, in, in case you call it, but I don't know what that is. For the sixth course of beef, we got the beef salad, aka the ball salad. Uh, we got the beef, we got the onion, we got the vinegar under it, and we gotta top it off with some pepper on top. Really refreshing for your sixth course of beef after this heavy beef all on that plate, so. 
I like this one a lot. One flavor of banana is the best. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have our final course of beef, the beef porridge. We have uh, green onions, and we have uh, what appears to be alphabet soup, but it's not alphabet soup, it's actually like little like tire soup. But I think the key ingredient here is the ginger. Lots and lots of ginger right there. I love the way that soup tastes. And the thing was, the first time I had seven course beef, I was just wrapping it up, and it was just real crazy because it was always falling out, but I was like, I don't know, seven course beef. But I realized, actually, you're supposed to just eat it like this. We're gonna do something not conventional today. We're gonna put it in a wrap. Oh! A lot of people said you couldn't wrap it. Hold on. <laughs> I have successfully wrapped the seventh quart of Woo! beef. Impossible is nothing. There are no rules, man. There are really no oh. rules. <laughs> Never do that. I did that. So hopefully you won't have to do that. All right, you guys. Let's wrap this up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll do that. All right, everybody. That's it for the seven course beef edition of Fung Bros Food. So shout out to Vietnam House. Uh, in San Gabriel, California, in the 626. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you learned today that Vietnamese food goes beyond pho. Yep, there's a lot more. I know a lot of the times kids like to eat pho or more of the popular dishes, but I think this is a great way to go back to your roots. It's a little bit more traditional, but it's still really delicious. Tradition, Tradition is delicious. Hey. All right, thank you guys for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food. Uh, we hope you liked it. I know that we had a lot of fun eating it. We like seven course beef a lot. That's something I discovered once I moved to the 626 because you know, you have more access to traditional types of food out here because the area is so heavily Asian. Make sure you watch this video right here. Make sure you watch that video right there. Definitely make sure you subscribe in the button below. Make sure you check out our shirts, toys, take off your shoes at acupuncture.com, get you some gear. I mean, man. I love shooting these videos. We hope that you guys love watching them. Let us know in the comment section below if there's any other videos you guys want us to do. I'm out. Peace. Peace.